Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce the newest feature the Crocoblock team has just rolled out. This new functionality is going to bring three major improvements to your Elementor workflow. First, the Jet Styles Manager plugin and the Editor Load Level functionality present in Jet plugins is going to allow you to optimize and speed up your website by reducing the number of style settings in your Elementor editor which will make your website as much as 20 to 30% faster. Second, you won't have to be nervous while handing over your website to your client. This functionality allows you to lock the design that you have created in Elementor, since you can reduce the number of style settings that your client can change. If you want to see a full list of style options for every single level, you can always check it out on our knowledge base at crocoblock.com. Also, you can disable the style tab at all, only leaving the client a possibility to edit the content. And the third major advantage you get is the ability to create skins. The style templates for specific widgets. So you can save the style of this particular widget on one page and then apply this style on any other page on your website. Now let's have a closer look of the Jet Styles Manager and the Editor Load Level functionality. So here we are in the Elementor dashboard. I have the Styles Manager plugin installed and activated. And now I can go to Elementor and access the settings of any of these Jet plugins that are installed on my website. Let's choose Jet Elements for now. And there we go, this is the editor load level. Let's have a look at what it does. You have five different levels. And each level determines how many style settings are going to be available in the style tab in your Elementor editor while you're editing the widgets that come with Jet Elements. But no matter what load level you set, it's not going to affect the look of the widget on the actual page. It is going to stay the way that you have designed it while being in the full load level. If you go to Jet tabs, you now see the same thing. You also have the load level and the load level setting that you choose here in the Jet Tabs settings is going to work for Jet Tabs widgets only. It's not going to affect the Jet Elements widgets. So we have to choose the load level for each of the Jet plugins that you have on your website. And they can be different. Those are absolutely independent from each other. So let's start with the overview of the speed optimization feature. Now we're on the WordPress dashboard and you see that the Jet Styles Manager plugin is off. So it's deactivated and the Jet Element settings, I have set the editor load level to full, which means that all of the style settings are going to appear in the Elementor editor for every single Jet Elements widget. And now I'm using the Query Monitor plugin in order to see how fast my page loads. So this is the number that we have to pay attention to and knowing that the Jet Styles Manager is off and all of the style settings are now on in our Elementor editor because the load level is set to full, we go and refresh this page to see how much time it takes for this page to fully load. So now it says 125 and this number might slightly vary because it really depends on multiple factors, but you're going to see a drastic difference once we switch the Jet Styles Manager on. Now it's 111, you know, we could go on and see, but you know, it's more than one, it's, it's somewhere around 1.10 seconds. And now we go to the WordPress dashboard back again and we switch the Jet Styles Manager on. So we have to activate this plugin now. Then Jet Element settings. I want to switch off all of the style settings. So now in the Elementor editor, we're going to have none of all the available by default style settings for Jet Elements widgets. And this alone is going to make your pages load a lot faster. Let's check it. Back to our homepage. Now I'm going to refresh it. 0.75. So not even a full second, a bit less than one second. And if we try and refresh once again, 0.86. 0.74. So on average, enabling the Just Health Manager plugin and switching the load level to none 
is going to make your pages load 20 to 30 percent faster. This percentage might slightly vary, but still, enabling JetStyles Manager and changing the load levels is going to give you quite a bit of a boost to your page load speed. Now let's see how changing these levels affects our options in the Elementor editor. So if the editor load level is set to full, it means that in the Elementor editor you're going to have all the style settings for the particular Jet Elements widget that are there by default. So if we now go to the Elementor editor and we have a look at, let's say, contact form widget. When the load level is set to full, we have the style tab here and we have four tabs under the style tab and we have a number of settings. So here you have all the freedom to change the style of this particular widget just the way you need. But if we now go to advanced or medium, we're going to have a lot fewer style options there, which is going to be handy if you use a lot of pages and on those pages you have lots of widgets and it might take time for all of those pages and widgets and style settings to load fully. So by reducing the number of those style options, you're going to make the pages load faster. Also, if you're handing over your website to your client and this website is designed just the way you want to, all the style settings are properly tweaked and you don't want the client to change anything or maybe they're not knowledgeable enough to make some changes. And if you want to reduce the risks of the client breaking something, you might set low or none load level. If you choose none, it is only going to leave the content tab and the advanced tab in your Elementor editor while the particular Jet Elements widget is selected. For example, right here we have the progress bar and we also don't have any style tab. If we now go to the pricing tables and select one of the pricing tables, the style tab is not present any longer and we have no chance to now change the style settings of these elements, but they still retain the same look that they acquired while you set all of the style settings while being in the full load level. So this now seems like a great way to secure a website from unwanted design changes, but what if you or your client want to add a new Jet Elements widget to a page or you want to make a duplicate of the existing widget? So now while in the Elementor editor, let's try and duplicate one of the widgets that we already have on our page. So from the start, it immediately acquires the default design that is set in the Elementor editor settings. And since we have turned the load level to none, we have no chance to change the style settings of this particular progress bar. This is what we can do about it. Once we click on this progress bar with the right mouse button, we can now see here three new options that have appeared with the Jet Styles Manager plugin. And now these three options allow you to save the style of this widget as a scan. Also apply the one of the saved scans to a new widget or reset the scan, which is going to mean that you're going to reset the style of this particular widget. But in order to be able to save style scans, you need to have the load level editor to be set to full. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to save the skin with all of the style settings. So now let's try and create a similar style skin ourselves. So what I want to do here is click on one of these progress bars and I'm going to right click and click save as skin and click save and now this style skin, this particular style setting set is being saved to our library. But what if we want to add a contact form on a completely new page and we want to apply the same design as we have here to it. If you now go and save the skin for this particular contact form on some other page, you'll be able to add a new contact form widget and apply the same style to that new contact form that you have on this contact form. And you can do that with any other Jet Elements widget. I right click and I click Save as Skin 
So it is now saved. Let's check the library. As you see in the library, I only have one item. Even though I have already created a skin for uh, the progress bar previously. This is because, as you remember, those skins work for the widgets of the same type. So here, as I click apply skin to a contact form, I will only see a list of the skins for the contact form widgets. The skins for the progress bars, galleries, etc. for other widgets, they are not gonna appear on this list in this library. Once I already saved the skins for all of the needed jet elements widgets, I now can switch to the none load level. So I'm going to disable the style settings in my Elementor editor at all. Now I'm going to switch back to the Elementor editor and refresh. So now at this point, if I want to add a new progress bar right here, let's say I want to copy this progress bar and just duplicate the widget and drop it in the column right next to it. I won't have the same styles on this widget as I do on this one. For this case, for this scenario, there are the style scans. So if I right click and I click apply scan, in my library, I'm going to see this style scan that I have just created. And if I click apply, now all of the style settings are now being applied to this new widget. I still cannot edit any settings, any style settings, but I do have the same style on this widget as on this one because I have saved the skin at that point when the load level was set to fall. So keep in mind that you can only create the skins when the load level is on fall. And now I want to go to another page, which will be contact us page. So on the contacts page, this is what we have. We have this sort of a layout and let's say I want to go and grab a contact form seven widget, which is a part of Jet Elements plugin. And I just drop it right here. And having set the load level to none, this is what this contact form is going to look like right now. And in order for this contact form to have the same style that the contact form on your other page, just right click on it and click apply skin. Here you can access this skin that you have saved. This is that style that I have saved from my homepage. And if I click apply, this is what is going to happen. You are going to have the contact form that looks just the same way as the one that you have on the other page and as that same skin that you have saved. So this was pretty much it for this overview of the new Jet Styles Manager plugin and the load level functionality that comes with Crocoblock. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.